Welcome back to the Dark Vengeance Battle Report, in which a Dark Angel tactical squad led by veteran Sergeant Raphael has ambushed two evil squads of Chaos Cultists. Dark Angels, turn two. So the three remaining tactical squad members, Raphael and two bolt guns, move up. All three fire their pistols at the squad, needing threes to hit, so all hit, and two wounds, so two cultists die. He then rolls a leadership check and passes on a seven. So then the squad assaults in and rolls a six, which is enough to get in. However, they first get to overwatch, but the flamer was not in range, so it did not get to shoot. Surprisingly, he rolled three sixes, and out of those three hits, produced two wounds, needing fours. They all had to go on the sergeant, so I roll two wounds, and pass both, luckily. So Raphael moves up to assault the cultists, and the other two also make it with the six-inch movement as well. My Dark Angels get to go first, needing threes to hit, the large ones being the sergeant, and the smaller ones being the squad, and I roll a bunch of hits. And then I need threes to wound, so four wounds. Once again, Dave rolls two sixes and saves two of them, but two die. The remaining cultists pile in and hit back with three attacks, two hits, and one wound. It has to go on the guy who's actually in combat, and I roll and yet I fail another save, so he dies, very sadly. The cultists lost by two and fail their leadership, and I was able to catch them, so all the cultists are dead of that squad. The Dark Angels then consolidate two inches, which I moved forward towards the remaining squad. Chaos Cultists, turn two. The squad of Chaos Cultists move up right into perfect firing range at the Dark Angels and unload with their pistols. Needing force to hit, they roll and get a bunch of hits and out of those hits get three wounds. So they have to go on the closest guy and for dramatic purposes we rolled one dice at a time. I roll the first dice and pass the second wound and pass once again and for the third wound I pass again so no one got injured. The cultists declare their assault and roll an 8 for the distance of assault. I get to overwatch but I miss everything. They really get in range so the cultists completely overwhelm the dark angels but they are much stronger in close combat so we'll see what happens. Dark Angels go first at initiative 4. The other attacks in, needing 3s to hit, so all hit, and unfortunately roll no wounds. It was obviously due to the cooler being in the room, which Dave thanked him very much. The cultists pile in at initiative step 2 and hit back very hard. They roll a bunch of hits, needing 4s, and roll 2 wounds, needing 5s. I then roll, and I fail another armor save. So now I've lost combat by one, I roll a leadership check, and roll a 12. Here is Dave's reaction to my amazing rolling skills, and here is my reaction. We roll off for initiative, and the sergeant is able to get away. I roll a distance of seven inches, and run completely off the board, and die. So Raphael is dead and the Chaos Cultists rejoice. And with that is a Chaos Cultist victory. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed this battle report. Turns out Dark Angels may not have the real advantage in Dark Vengeance. I don't know, it's, they keep losing, but it was fun. Uh, no regrets on strategy or anything. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Dave is currently trying to figure out a box. And if he solves it, he's probably going to end up punching me in the face by accident. <laughs> and Mel's here too. She really wasn't in the bat rep, but she enjoyed it as well. And she watched as my rolling was terrible. So stay tuned for more Dark Vengeance Battle Reports. Once again, I'm Jay. Until next time, happy wargaming, everyone. <coughs> oh.